Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss anti-Malthusian theory. Anti-Malthusians disagree with the pessimism or pessimistic view of Malthusians and Neo-Malthusians about the relationship between the population growth and resource availability. So they do believe that human ingenuity and technological advancement can overcome resource limitation and sustain the population growth. So they are of the view that although the population bomb or the potential of population to explode as a bomb is there, however, at the same time, it's not so bleaking situation, it's not so pessimistic situation that we cannot do anything about it because, because of the technological advancements and innovations. They are of the view that we can overcome the potential uh, resource depletion as compared to the population growth. So anti-Malthusians often point to the historical examples where advancements in agriculture, technology, and resource management have enabled human population to thrive despite the population increase. So they are giving different examples out of the history when humanity had been in a crisis because of the famines or because of the natural calamities. However, they invented different techniques or different ways to overcome those uh, resource constraints. So they advocate for investing in education, research, and responsible governance to harness the human potential and find different creative ways to manage different resources. At the same time, they are encouraging to foster more and more optimistic view about the humanity's ability to tackle these global challenges. So they are of the view that all we need to do is we need to make human beings more sensitized about these issues. We need to work on these aspects and we need to face this challenge by creating more opportunities for the education and creating more opportunities to become individuals as more and more innovative. So notable anti-Malthusians include economist Julian Simon and Aster Bozerup. Julian Simon in 1981 in his book The Ultimate Resource argued that humans are the ultimate resource as their ingenuity can find solutions to the resource scarcity. So basically Julian Simon ke khayal mein sabse bada potential jo hai ya sabse bada resource jo hai wo insaan bazate khud hai. Aur usne apni kitab ke andar the ultimate resource ke andar ye sabit karne ki koshish ki hai ke jab jab insaan ke liye mushkil waqt aaya hai tab tab usne apni ingenuity aur creativity ke zariye jo hai usse nabardazma hone ki koshish ki hai. इसी तरह से अगर हम फ्यूचर को भी देखते हैं तो फ्यूचर के हवाले से आज का इंसान जो है बहुत ज़्यादा कंसर्न नज़र आता है और हमारे पास जो है ये जैसे कि हम देख रहे हैं कि जिस जिस तरह से मसाइल जो हैं वो सामने आते हैं उस उस तरह से उनके सोल्यूशनस भी जो हैं वो इंसान क्रिएट कर लेता है अभी रिसेंट पास के अंदर जो ह्यूमानिटी को सबसे बड़ा मसला दरपेश है वो ये क्लाइमेटिक चेंज का है environmental degradation ka hai to isse nabardazma hone ke liye bhi log jo hain wo bahut creative ways jo hain wo use kar rahe hain jaise hum koshish kar rahe hain ki hum jo aise fuels hain unse apni jaan chuda le jiski wajah se khatarnak gases paida hoti hain jo ki hamari ozone layer ko nuksan pahuncha rahi hain hamare environment ko nuksan pahuncha rahi hain aur uski jagah pe jo hai wo hum renewable energy aur jo zero carbon एमिशन एनर्जी है उसकी तरफ जाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो इस तरह से जूलियन का ये ख्याल था कि इंसान बहुत क्रिएटिव होता है बहुत इनोवेटिव होता है और वो अपने इस पोटेंशियल की वजह से बहुत से ऐसे मसाइल के ऊपर जो है वक्त के साथ साथ काबू पा लेता है तो फ्यूचर के हवाले से भी वो ये प्रिडिक करता है कि हमें ज़्यादा परेशान होने की ज़रूरत नहीं है कि इंसान इसके हवाले से भी कोई ना कोई सोल्यूशन जो है वो तलाश कर लेगा इसी तरह से Esther Bozerup jo hai he suggested that the population growth can lead to agriculture innovation according to her when population uh, pressure on resources increases 
human innovate to increase the carrying capacity of the land so uh, she's of the view that when human beings are uh, lacking these resources they can potentially work on that and they can be more innovative for that and they can uh, in innovate different techniques to make it more fertile and put more potential uh, for for producing the more resource so anti malthusians criticize malthusians for their static view of resources and argue that they underestimate the capacity for economic and technological adaptation now if we apply this anti malthusian perspective to pakistan while the country faces significant challenges due to rapid population growth the potential for technological and social innovation to address these issues should not be underestimated as we can see that although we are having a lot of problems there are environmental issues there are agriculture issues at the same time there are different you know climatic issues uh, we are currently we are facing you know a lot of pollution we are having overpopulation but at the same time these challenges are being tackled not only by the public policy but also by different innovative individuals who are giving some unique ideas to tackle these issues